Shabbat Shalom. My name is Rabbi Ali Klein. I am part of the clergy team at Temple Sherry Tefilo Israel in South Orange. Right now in the Torah, our Israelite ancestors are making their way through the early parts of their 40 years of wandering in the desert. And they're working hard to establish societal norms for what it would mean to be a free people. In this week's Torah portion by Echel, we read not for the first time a long exacting list of instructions for how the Israelites are to build the Mishkan, the portable sanctuary in which God would dwell amongst them. Just in previous week's Parshiot, God instructs Moses to command the people to bring contributions, trumot, for the building project, each according to how their heart is moved. And with these tremendous, big-hearted offerings of the people, the work is now ready to begin. But who will do the work? We might think it's Moses, leader of the people, to whom God speaks directly, the chosen prophet. But instead, it's two people we've never met before. One is Bezalel, who is a skilled artist and craftsman. And the other, to serve as Bezalel's partner, is a man we learn is named Oholiav. Oholiav is an ordinary guy. Torah tells us of no special skills he possesses, nor of any particular leadership qualities, great acts of faith, or anything else that distinguishes him. We know that Oholiav came from the tribe of Dan, who is considered one of the lowliest of Jacob's descendants, born from Bilha, one of Jacob's concubines. Oholiav is someone who might have been passed over. He's from a lower, less respected social group. He didn't have particular skills or talents. And all signs point towards him being someone who would likely be disregarded and underestimated. Yet in our Parsha, we read as his name is dramatically called out by God and Moses, tasking him with the construction of God's dwelling place. Aholiab's role in this Torah portion is a reminder that we never know someone's full capacity unless we give them a chance to shine. He is a reminder that when we assume someone is less able because they come from lesser means or lesser skills, we do so at our own peril. But when we believe in someone, when we invest in them and support them on their way, and we give them a chance, we learn that everyone is capable of leaving their mark, even in the very holiest of places. Each of us carries the soul of a holy av within us. When we gather each Shabbat and lift up our voices seeking God's presence, may we be reminded that every person has a purpose, no matter who they are or where they come from or how they look or think or act. Our tradition reminds us that every person, whether you're Moses or you're Oholiav, every person has a unique gift to offer and is necessary if we want to create something wholly remarkable. Shabbat Shalom.